Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall try to find the determinant by expanding the cofactors. The example we have here is as follows. Let's say we have an example matrix A as negative 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, and 1. Let us say this is the matrix we have and we want to find the determinant using you using expanding the cofactors the way to do this is as follows since we since we have a 3 by 3 matrix we can write the determinant as follows isn't it the determinant of a which is also represented as a with two lines on either side is equal to summation of j equals to 1 to 3 a 1 j c 1 j like that and the way to expand that is going to be a 1 1 c 1 1 plus a 1 2 c 1 2 plus a 1 3 c 1 3 we already know what a11, a12, and a13 are, and those are negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, 2, and 1 respectively. So if we need to now find the the values of c11, c12, and c13, those are the cofactors, and the way to do that is as follows. Let's try that. So c11, the value of c11 is going to be negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j, which is in this case is going to be 1 plus 1 m11 the minor m11 and the way to write that is as follows negative 1 raised to the power of 2 and then m11 we can write that as as follows isn't it we're going to look at we're going to eliminate the first row first column and the and therefore the elements which are left therefore will be 5 6 negative 3 and 1 Therefore, when we expand this, negative 1 raised to the power of 2 is going to be equal to 1. And then what we have here is 5 times 1 is 5 minus of, minus of 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times, 3, neg 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. So therefore, we need to simplify this. So therefore, this is going to be 1 times 5 plus 18 and therefore this value is going to be equal to 23 23 times 1 is 23 therefore we're going to leave it there so let's find the cofactors for uh, the element a12 c uh, the cofactors c12 is going to be equal to negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 m12 so therefore negative 1 raised to the power of 3 and the elements if we were to eliminate the first rows second column so we want to uh, to continue this negative 1 raised to the power of 3 and uh, to find the cofactors we're going to eliminate the first row second column and when we do that the elements which we which are going to be left are going to be 4 6 2 and 1 and once we find the the determinant of this that is going to come out as follows negative 1 raised to the power of 3 is going to be negative 1 and then 4 when we multiply the elements along the major diagonal 4 times 1 is 4 minus the uh, the elements along the minor diagonal when we multiply them uh, 6 times 2 is going to be equal to 12 so therefore negative 1 4 minus 12 is going to be is going to be negative 8 therefore negative times negative is a positive and therefore this value is going to be positive 8 so we got the second cofactor then the third cofactor is going to be as follows c13 negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 3 m13 m13 right Therefore, in this case, uh, we're going to 
the way we need to expand it is i as follows negative 1 raised to the power of 4 3 plus 1 is 4 and then the elements in here we need to pick are as follows we're going to uh, eliminate the first row third column and the ele elements which are left are 4 5 2 and negative 3 and now we can find the determinant of that negative 1 raised to the power of 4 is going to be positive 1 and then when we multiply the elements along the major diagonal 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 minus the elements along the minor diagonal when we multiply them out 5 times 2 is 10 therefore we have 1 times negative 12 plus negative 10 that is going to be negative 22 and therefore 1 times negative 22 is negative 22 and therefore now we need to find the determinant and according to what we what we uh, written down here this is the determinant this is we need to put all of that together and when we do that this is the way it's going to come up the determinant of a is going to be equal to a11 let me write that one more time a11 c11 plus a12 c12 plus a13 c13 therefore a a11 is negative 3 and then c11 is 23 from what we found just now plus a12 is going to be equal to 2 and then c12 the value is going to be positive 8 like that which, which we just found plus a13 the value is 1 and then the value of c13 is negative 22 therefore when we multiply these out negative 3 times 23 is negative 69 plus 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 times negative 22 is negative 22 therefore the determinant of a is going to be the determinant this is let me write this a little bit more clear the determinant of a is going to be equal to negative 69 plus 16 minus 22 the value comes out as negative 75 so the determinant of the matrix matrix a is going to be equal to negative 75 that is our answer that is this is where we want to leave it okay in my next presentation we should look at some more examples to see how we can find the the determinant um, use expanding the cofactors and expanding the minors.